Hello, just a quick video to show you what not to do when you install an acrylic bath and use foam under it. What you can see is that my bath's lifted up. Now, the reason this has happened is that I haven't had enough weight in the bathtub. And the reason why I didn't have enough weight in the bathtub was that this foam I used, the can wasn't very good. And I just didn't think it was working. And it was just dribbling out and not really behaving like I've seen other foam before. And then, so I went, oh, well, that was a bit of a waste of money. Then the following morning, it had all puffed up really well. And I went, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Happy days. Um, <clears throat> but what I hadn't noticed is that it's actually pushed the whole bath up. So now what I'm going to have to do, as I've started to do, is take my little knife wherever it is, and uh, basically cut it all out, rip all that out, and then uh, do it again. And this time with uh, 20 or 30 kilos in it, and not just uh, leaving it with whatever junk was in the bath at the time. So live and learn, so that's the first of a uh, whoops film from me. So uh, yeah, so I have, I know it's there's a religious argument between using foam and uh, using mortar, uh, one's definitely more popular than the other. And I'd use mortar at the back. The only reason I'd used foam just at the front was to, to leave enough room to hook up the services, I thought. So the vast majority, but certainly sort of uh, two-thirds of the rear of the bath is uh, is sitting on a mortar bed. It was just the just the front piece. So I thought, oh, I need to... <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I need to uh, just foam that in. And then it worked really well until I've just come to stuff the insulation in the side of it and noticed that... Um, I've screwed it up. Anyway, live and learn, making work for myself. I'll uh, I'll pull all that out and then uh, do it again tomorrow, I guess. Thanks for watching. Here we are a little bit later, and I've managed to get it all out. So all I could think of was the, uh, the final scenes in Ghostbusters. So maybe uh, Harold Ramis uh, did a bad job of putting his bathtub in and then got the idea for... Uh, uh, encasing everybody in expander foam. Um, yes, anyway, so there you go. Don't underestimate the uh, the ability for a half a tin of expander foam to lift up a acrylic bath. So, uh, fortunately, when I redo this, I've got water on now, so I'll just fill it up with water. Uh, and I don't think it's going to lift 100 kilos plus. So, um, we'll try that again. Anyway, don't do it that way. <laughs> Thanks for watching.